Oh no! Okay, this guy behind me wants me to be going faster, but speed limits. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amon, and today I'm doing a mock test with Sophie. Now this is the first time we've met, and um, your test is coming up. Yes. How are you feeling? Are you feeling nervous about your test coming up? Yeah, I think if I fail it'll be something silly though. Okay, so how long have you actually been learning to drive? Um, it's been a while, but there's been, it's been short over shorter hours, so. Okay, how many yeah, hours are you Coming talking? up to 20, I reckon. 20, okay, that's yeah. not a lot. No. Not a lot at all, but you do practice outside? Yeah, then? yeah. Okay, really, that's good. Okay, so you know how the mock test is going to be conducted. Do you want me to tell you a little bit? Um, yeah, you can run through it. Okay, so throughout the drive, follow the road ahead. Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you. If I'm not saying anything, you're just going straight. If you're not sure where you're going, you can simply just ask, but it will just be straight. Cool. Okay, and just follow road signs, really. Um, a bit of independent driving, which is where I'll give you a series of signs to follow. Cool. And um, one manoeuvre, possibly the emergency stop, similar to everything you've already been practising with your instructor. Cool. All right, so I am going to ask you a tell me question at the beginning and then a show me question whilst driving. Okay. So for the tell me question, could you tell me how do you check that your head restraint is correctly adjusted for maximum support? Mm. They don't move in this, in this one. car, generally. <laughs> um, you'll have a little button that okay. you can, and make sure it's clicked in and it won't move. You can move it. So how, how should it be adjusted for you? How do you know it's set um, for you? So that I, like, I don't have to be moving my head. It's in a comfortable position. Okay. Is there any way of knowing where it should be positioned? Or... Um, I'm not sure. Okay, that's fine. All right, so whenever you're ready, I'd like you to start the engine. We're gonna make our way down this road. Oh, there we are. Brilliant, okay. I'm just gonna get this set up for you. <laughs> All set. Cool. So I'm ready when you're ready. Oh, clutch is fine, this. Oh uh, yeah, we'll be out. And if you could pull in and park up on the left somewhere safe. And drive it when you're ready. Sophie's still indicating left whilst trying to move off towards the right. Always turn off the indicator and then reapply when you wish to change direction. Okay, you're turning. You go. Go on. You do you. Finish your manoeuvre. Half that van's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me straight in the deep end, aren't you? Yay! <laughs> Alright, at least your biting point's nice. Yeah, we can make that go on. up on the left just behind the grey car but leave enough space to move away so about a car's length okay, okay. just keep going forward yeah. not too close though not too close just keep going forward but not too close okay thank you and drive up when you're ready Come on! 
here we've all got places to be. Whilst waiting to move off from this position, Sophie was getting a little bit impatient and starts to roll into the road as the traffic on the road is still passing. You want to make sure your moving off does not affect anyone in the road, so you don't even want them having to step off the accelerator, let alone having to brake for you. At the roundabout, we're going to be turning left. It's the first exit. <laughs> Roundabout, I'd like you to turn right, it's the third exit. Yeah. It's actually the second exit, turn right to yeah. the town centre. So a bit of hazard perception at this point, the vehicle in the left hand lane is actually indicating right, so you want to be mindful in case they try and switch lanes in front of you, as they actually started in the wrong lane, but they were trying to make a right turn at the roundabout. straight on from here. Yeah. Oh, stop that. Oh, stop that. Useful, nothing there. There were no people on the crossing. <laughs> That's fine, we were, we were getting to them. At this point I was a bit unsure of why Sophie had made this remark as we were not driving at 30 miles per hour, we were in fact driving at about 18 miles per hour. It was a bit later that I realised she was actually looking at the kilometres per hour rather than the miles per hour. I'll show you guys what she was looking at. And take the next road on your left please. If you could pull in and park up on the left hand side along here, just before that silver car, just over in that space there. That's fine, no thank you. All right, so I feel what we're going to do now, using the vehicle in front, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise. Yeah. So pull up alongside this vehicle in the road, then reverse back and finish within two car lengths. Yeah. Okay. Try not to touch the pavement. Can try. <laughs> Before you start the parallel park exercise, be sure to assess the road you're parking on. On this particular road, you can see there is a steep camber. The middle of the road is raised and the left hand side of the road slopes down, which means your car will generally gain speed as you try and reverse back. Sophie gets a serious fault for control and observation with this manoeuvre. As she's reversing back, she's reversing back too fast and not slowing down the speed of the vehicle and she gets too close to the car in front. Also while reversing, she's reversing back too far away from the car that we're trying to park with. Tesco and you asked to go again. 
You can adjust it. Yeah. Oh, if I move forward, then I'm still within two car lengths, right? Oh, oh no. And lastly, there's a pedestrian that's walking on the left-hand side of the pavement, and Sophie ends up hitting the curb at that point as the pedestrian is about to walk past. You want to make sure you stop when there are any pedestrians about. Thank you. It's got to be the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Drive off when you're ready. Oh no. Will I ever be ready? Can I? Can I save myself? No. And left again up here. If you could just pull in and park up on the left hand side anywhere along here, don't worry about the driveways on this occasion. Just in that space behind yeah. the green car will be fine. That's fine though, thank you. Cool. Just leave the space in front. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, so shortly I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. As you're driving down this road, I'm going to make sure it's safe. I'm going to look around. So you see me turning and looking around like this. And then I'm going to give you this signal stop. I'd like you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible. Imagine a child's come running out in front of you. Yeah. Okay? Alright, drive off when you're ready. Oh, I've just had a cruise control on the door. It's not on door. Okay, cool. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing with that one. Can we try that again? I don't yeah, know what happened with my stop. I saw the hand first, so I was I like, yeah, we'll stop it there. It was a bit... <laughs> just drive normally. <laughs> That's never happened before. <laughs> stop! Stop! Thank you. Drive off whenever you're ready. I'm not going to get you to do that again, okay? Cool. I'm going to get you dirty wheels, sorry. <laughs> go through the puddles. <clears throat> well, we can only go left here, but we'll tell people anyway. straight ahead from here. <clears throat> and let the round bite straight again. Just reflecting on my parallel park. <laughs> I wouldn't dwell on anything. Oh I'm dwelling on that. <laughs> I've never like I've never parked that bad before in my life. Wow. As we went straight ahead, second exit of this roundabout, Sophie ends up getting a serious fault for use of mirrors change direction. So we started approaching from the middle lane, which is the lane that goes straight ahead. But as soon as we enter the roundabout, Sophie ends up switching into the right hand lane. So she straight lines the roundabout. If there was a car on the right hand lane, they would have nowhere to go.
guy behind me wants me to be going faster, but speed limits. So, what is the speed limit on this road? It's 30. Okay. Unless I missed the 40 sign. And what speed are you driving at? 27. 28. You're at 17. To, oh, kilometers per hour. Oh, I've been actually looking at the wrong. I'm so silly. That's why 30s felt really slow. <laughs> oh, I'm actually so silly. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight on from here. Okay. okay. I was like, wow, I told you to be silly mistakes. <laughs> wow. Approaching this next roundabout, we're going to be going straight ahead and it's a second exit. Sophie does take the roundabout a bit too fast. Our view on the right hand side of the roundabout was obscured by vehicles that are blocking the junction, so you want to make sure you slow right down and look carefully before you continue. It's really easy to miss motorbikes and cyclists as they can easily manoeuvre through tight gaps like this. So if you want it safe to do so, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would wash the front windscreen. Thank you. That's ugly. Wow, everyone's going to be like, she's been going at snail pace this whole time. <laughs> Road, I'd like you to turn right, please. signs towards the A40 Oxford. So the signs are coming up on the yeah. left hand side just down here. Oh yeah, yeah. give me time to go. A40 West. Yeah they've okay, put cool. they've put Oxbridge there instead of Oxford. Okay, yeah. Great. We'll go into the same. <laughs> so close. Oh, I need to be in the other lane then. We'll get there. We will get there. There. <laughs> it's been there for weeks as well. Oh, I've only just seen that. Yeah. How did he manage that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, funny. Sorry, I shouldn't be assuming it's a guy. <laughs> no, but, but it's a it's Let's be real.
and take the next road on your left, please. How are you feeling? How was your drive? Mm, not my best, not my best. Yeah, a few hairy moments in there. Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately it wouldn't be Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the ones I'm worried about, you're not aware of. Really? Yeah. Well, I know the, the, the stopping earlier for the pedestrians. Okay, that's one, definitely. Okay, um, hitting the curve in parallel, which is so silly. Yeah. Um, and... Generally know. the control. I'm probably the too time. slow actually because I was reading the wrong. That was another one. That yeah. Was, yeah. There okay. was one more. Um ooh. Did I not look at like a mini roundabout or something? You know that big roundabout, I don't know the name of it. Um I can't remember the name of it right now. Right on top of the A40. We're yeah. going straight. Yeah. There was like a large truck coming, but we had yeah. time. I saw it. I, yeah, no, no, yeah, you did. Yeah. We had time. Yeah. We're in the middle lane Enjoy. as we've entered. Oh, and I've got to go in the in inside bit instead so of when, on the outside. No, when you entered the roundabout, you switched into the right lane. Without looking first. Yeah. Generally, okay. we, we didn't need to switch. Okay. Because then when you came out the roundabout, you had to switch again. Okay, yeah. Yeah? I, don't, I can't remember the name of that roundabout. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the pedestrians, what happened? Did you not see them? Well, I, I saw them, but like, I knew they were going to finish across it. Well, I, I was going to stop, but like, I just left it too late because I was going uphill. I don't know, I just didn't think. Yeah, it's just the, the approach speed. Think about what they're seeing yeah. and on how you're approaching. Yeah. Are they going to Because I was safe? focused on the roundabout before rather mm. than the crossing straight after it. But well, we're going to take both yeah. of them, right? Yeah. So yeah, we, got, we should have had a slower approach. I think it's just that. a silly place to put a crossing. <laughs> I know what you mean, but it's one of those places where if that crossing's not there, mm. and if it was any slightly, slightly further down yeah. the road, pedestrians would still cross there. Because there, yeah. if they come out the high street and they want to go across this road, they're not going to go up the road. Like, yeah. Would you as a pedestrian? No. Yeah. So that's why they put these crossings closer to the junctions because it's safer, because then at least you know, oh, there's a crossing there. Mm. I'm going to be careful. Okay. Rather than just not having a crossing yeah. there. Yeah, and then people just step in. Yeah. Um, so that was definitely a, a silly fault right there. I yeah. had to tell you to stop. Right at the beginning. Oh. Yeah. You generally know what you're doing, which is good. You generally are quite alert and your pedal work is really nice, steering's good. But I would want you to take a bit more care on your junctions. Okay. So you know when, um, this is after you notice you were looking at the wrong spill. <laughs> so as we're driving, we got to this one roundabout where there was traffic all kind of blocking the right. Yeah. There was like a Ford Fiesta, Fiesta, like a bluish car on the roundabout. And you went, oh, he's blocking, yeah, I'm gonna go. And you kind of just mm. went, fine. But what if there was a motorbike trying to squeeze around that car to turn? Or what if there's a cyclist? Oh, just like take it a slower yeah. as you go out. Okay. So generally, when you're approaching a junction, roundabout, whatever, if you can't see 100%, I would just think, okay, what if someone is there? Always okay. kind of expect the unexpected, okay. especially as a new driver, because then you won't get caught out, okay. right? Um, emergency stop, that was really good. But drive normally, I felt like you were driving slow at that point, but okay. now I realise. Well, it was a 20 road, wasn't it? But yeah, also this. It was actually a 30 road. Was it a 30 road down there? Yeah, you were, not driving, 30 down there. you were driving 15. Oh, well, I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> you were looking at the wrong one, so <laughs> yeah. that kind of figures now why you were driving so slow. Um, okay, your parallel park. Oh, don't even. That's the worst I've ever parked. Okay, did you notice before we started that road had a camber? Yeah, it was like down. Okay, and how was that going to affect your reversing? I was going to go fast, so I need to take it slower. Yeah, you needed yeah. to use the brake more throughout yeah. that. Okay. okay, so with that manoeuvre, just before, before you even hit the pavement, I was concerned about your control because when you first started in the road, you did really well. You looked around, mm -hmm. you steered left, we're going into the curb, which is nice. But as we're going towards the curb, you then steered right, which was all right. It was all right timing, but then you turned all the way rather than just taking one right turn. Yeah, I thought because I because I was going so quickly. Yeah, but I, you should yeah, slow the car down, down rather yeah. than trying to speed your hands yeah. up. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, because at that point I was actually concerned that you were going to swipe the car in front. Okay. 
and then we kind of ended up in the road and then from there you're you're not paying attention to the right side you're just kind of focusing on getting near the curb yeah. and there was a lady walking right here and that and that's the exact time parking. that you were about to mount and i thought come on you can see her just stop yeah. for her at least okay yeah Oh, okay. With the <laughs> speedometer, obviously, look. Yeah. You have your normal speedometer yeah. here. Yeah, it's because in the car I learn in, it's up in the corner, so I just automatically looked in the corner. But yeah, I'll show you guys what Sophie was looking at and why she was getting confused and really confused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at this one. Who so does you have that? this one, then you have, that's the one that Sophie was looking at, and you've got <laughs> this one in the middle as well. <laughs> But yeah, look, it says Everyone it right. else would not be confused. It's right there, kilometres per hour. Right it's right middle. in front of me. It's actually so silly. Because <laughs> you said it earlier, we're driving, and you said it earlier, you said, oh, I was like, oh, Bertie it's so doesn't slow. Feel like, Bertie feels slow. Like, oh, you're not driving, Bertie. It's because I was 17 miles per hour. <laughs> I don't know, I wonder if everyone wanted, behind me wanted to get past. It's like, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> why am I so slow? You know, on that 40 road as yeah. well. Because I was going 20 because it was 40. 46 kilometers so we were I was like I'm speeding to go straight and you went to 24 and you braked and I thought why are you braking yeah because I'm already into it <laughs> no so I didn't figure it out until you actually said, said oh, it I was like oh. I'm at the right speed speed limit and that's when I said what is no I'm not limit? yeah <laughs> Oh, that was just so silly. It's okay. It happens. It's all how you kind of learn from it. So yeah. don't worry. Okay. okay. All right, guys. That is the end of another mock test. Hopefully you guys have learned something from this. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new and select that bell icon so that you get a notification every time that I upload. And thank you for watching, guys.